We're going to give you one reason to actually stick around O'Hare once in a while because a terminal at O'Hare Airport was transformed today, serving as the location, believe it or not, for a fine dining competition. Hmm, sound like you had some luggage problems lately. <laughs> uh, finalists from around the country went head to head at O'Hare, the mm -hmm. Iron Chef style, to see who could impress the judges the most. WGN's Amy Rutledge at the airport with results. Why the airport? Well, it's kind of centrally located because people came in from all over. So what they did, Mark, is they had people actually submit videos online of them cooking their favorite dish. These were either employees of O'Hare or travelers through. That got whittled down to five contestants who duked it out in Terminal 2 today, Iron Chef style, for the airport's first ever Channel Your Inner Chef event. Chicago is literally the center of the culinary universe. If the city is the center, O'Hare is its gateway. Today, transforming from what is normally known as Terminal 2 into O'Hare Kitchen Stadium. Tyler, their time starts now. Five finalists from around the country using these ingredients to whip up an original dish on the spot as part of the first ever Channel Your Inner Chef amateur cooking competition. When we walked into this whole setup, like, oh my gosh, it's like at the Food Network or something. I had this flyer in my bag about this cooking contest. We submitted it, not expecting much, but it turned out to be one of the coolest things I've ever done is in my 25 years here at the airport. The rules are simple. A protein, a starch, a vegetable, and an herbal ingredient from O'Hare's own garden must be used. Then I'm just going to make it so that way the acidity cooks it itself. Competitors have 30 minutes to cook and plate their dishes for a panel of judges, including local political and business leaders looking for great taste, technique, showmanship, and presentation, among other things. Their handiwork watched meticulously by a large crowd of guests and some perplexed airport passengers. Jim, you're moving on to, to chop up and dice that blanched tomato. I made the ceviche. I made a Caribbean style ceviche with kumquats in it. I did a little bit of spice. I did some sriracha. I actually did their sweet lemons instead of a, a bitter lemon. Nice butter poached lobster with a uh, wine deglaze, some garlic, shallots, sweet red pepper, and a myriad of herbs. Three, two, one. Step back, knives down, hands up. In the end, bragging rights, pride, and prizes fit for any aspiring chef. Um, so I got just do it, see what happens. And they call me back, and I was excited. So it's a good day. And the winner of the 2015 Channel Your Inner Chef competition is... Nikia Stone. And Nikia's winning dish a blackened chicken, a butternut squash, and a pasta side. Now, Mark and Julie, another reason why it was here at O'Hare, HMS Host, which is uh, one, of the, one of the businesses behind a lot of the restaurants here at O'Hare, was a sponsor of the event. They are also a sponsor of the 2015 James Beard Awards, which are being held in Chicago in May. Nakia gets two tickets to the VIP event for that event. She also gets two tickets to fly wherever she wants to in the country. She gets those bragging rights, and she gets her, her latest dish, the winning dish, on the menu of the HMS host restaurants here at O'Hare as well, with her name. So she gets some bragging rights out of it as well. For now, we're live at O'Hare. Amy Rutledge, WGN News. Back to you guys. But who gets the blackened chicken tonight? Boy, it sounds good. It does. does. The if, only, if only the airlines would pick up on that kind of food. <laughs>